What do you expect from this report coming up in just about an hour? How big of a story will inflation and rising rates be for Uber? Yeah, so look, I, I think as far as the first quarter results, uh, we're expecting a strong quarter. Uh, you know, the company reported their four key results uh, in February, got a pretty good look at how the quarter was trending at that point. Uh, the business accelerated. I think quarter is going to be good. good. All eyes are going to be on the guidance. Uh, you know, we're starting to hear in other parts of our coverage universe about uh, how rising inflation and macro pressures are, are starting to impact the consumer uh, a bit more. Uh, and I think, you know, the, the recent uh, kind of activity at Lyft that you touched on uh, will raise investor questions as to maybe we're going to see a little bit of a increased intensity in the competitive environment in the U.S. rideshare business. So I think all eyes are going to be on the outlook. Yeah, we'll get to Lyft in a minute, but I, I want to continue on this thread about inflation and where the consumer is right now. Which part of Uber's business do you see being more impacted by a consumer spending slowdown? Because we keep hearing about this shift from goods to services. Technically, isn't food delivery and also rideshare, aren't those services? Yeah, so, you know, I, I think it, it's really, it, if we do start to see impact on Uber's business, it's going to be it's going to be broad based. Uh, you know, this this resiliency in, in services spending that you touched on. Uh, certainly is going to help Uber, but uh, could you start to see signs of, of folks uh, trading down, maybe is the way I would describe it. So, uh, you know, maybe not taking the Uber XL, uh, you know, taking the Uber X, uh, you know, if if it's a, a shorter ride, maybe opting to take the subway, uh, whereas, you know, maybe, you know, eight to 12 months ago, they, they might have taken the Uber. Uh, and food delivery, um, you know, I think it's just People uh, sort of resisting the fees, uh, and and that'll just sort of serve to uh, accelerate the normalization of that business, right? The the delivery business had such a go-go period, kind of during the course of the pandemic. It's been resilient here as the as the economy's reopened, uh, but I think you know rising inflation and and macro pest pressures might just kind of accelerate that normalization that we're seeing in delivery. All right, let's talk about the competitive landscape. So Uber has about three quarters of the market. Lyft has about a quarter, rough give or take. I think that shifts, you know, season to season, if you will. Um, Lyft's made a lot of changes to the company, including layoffs and reorganization. Does that have the potential to change the competitive landscape at all? Yeah, you know, we'll see. Uber has benefited from, uh, I'd say, a very sanguine kind of competitive dynamic in U.S. rideshare over the last several quarters. Uh, and 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 that's uh, you know played right to Uber's strengths. As you said, they've been uh, eating into uh, market share uh, by competitors. Uh, Lyft is look seemingly going to make some big changes here. Uh, the, you referenced the job cuts. Those cuts are going to fund, we think, uh, lower uh, investments and in lower prices for riders. Probably more aggressive incentives for drivers to make sure that you know wait times for riders and the overall kind of customer experience for Lyft riders is better. Uh, so, you know, it, it's probably a little bit too early to say that, um, you know, Uber's uh, going to see an impact, you know, right now. Uh, but it's possible that it's, you know, they, they could factor that into the second quarter guidance or the outlook for the rest of the year. So it uh, will be interesting to see whether or not what Lyft's doing is going to is going to make uh, an impact. Uh, Uber has a ton of momentum, though, uh, in not only in rideshare, but the fact that they've got a multi-product platform. We think that's really like the, the key long-term thing that investors need to appreciate here at Uber.